Rosalina De Silva is joining us to give us a lesson on bridal makeup. She's well respected on film, stage, screen, and we're delighted to have her with us today. Our model is Caitlin Ahu, and she is fabulous. Rosalina, thank you so much. Take it away. Thank you. So I'm just applying a base that's going to be my foundation for the contouring, for the highlighting, and for the blush to go on. So it's just trying to neutralize the skin tone. I've just used shell as a, um, a base for the eye sh uh, for the eyeshadow. So uh, just all over color as a base for the eyeshadow. That was that. And now I'm just going to contour, and I'm using cork. So that was vanilla, vanilla and cork, the two colors that I've used. And I'm just creating the eye base. I'm just creating the base to, because uh, being a bride, I'm, I want to keep it soft, but I give it some structure as well. I actually mixed the cream and a powder because I don't have the right color. So I just mixed a dark brown with the taupe eyeshadow, uh, eyeliner, and I mixed them. So my intention here is just to make a very thin liner, just be between the lashes, so the lashes look a little thicker. And once I do that, I'll, I'm going to blend it out. And look up now. Up again. I'm just using a little bit of a, a natural color. Okay, this is a blusher. <laughs> Look up. I tend to use different, you know, even though it's a blush. Yeah, I, I like to use it uh, to give me a, a bit of color in there. And it's, it is part of the blush collection. I probably for a bride, I would just finish there. I'll, I'm going to put some glitter on, lots of lashes, and um, and then I'll go back to it and see what what else I want to apply. But I would just do a soft now. So I'm just going to now put the cream on top, meaning the frost, the shine, the lots of mascara, and see how much I can get out of her eyes. And then if I feel I need a bit more um, eyeshadow, I'll do that. But for now, I'm happy to, so I, I can look at her and see her eyes. Her eyes just pop out. So I'm gonna put some mascara on. Uh, with the mascara, I like to go right underneath. This is the color wheel, the, the fantasy, and I'm just using it. I'm mixing the white and the gold, and I'm just using it on her cheekbones to create that glow, very glow look. 
and just, uh, just mixing the two of them. Now with the glitter, when you get, you know, you get it all over the face, the best thing is get sticky tape and get it out. Yep. Yeah? Because she has some, a, a kind of a period hairdo, I decided to give her a sort of a, a period eyeliner just to go with it. But I'm just going to, I'm just doing the outer corner of the eye, not the, uh, not the full eye, just to keep it also natural and beautiful. Okay, so these are um, the HD foundations which I'm going to use because I want her to be very luminous and very uh, natural. So when you first start, it's really important where you put your first, where you put your first uh, foundation because in this particular case, it's a little darker than I expected, but it helps me so I can use that as a bronzer and give her a sort of more color that way. And I, I love the cream blushes, so I'm just going to add a bit of that color. So I might use a bit more of the foundation so to create my shading. And I use the darker foundation to create the shading. And I blend it into the blush. So you don't really, you can't really tell where one finishes and the other one starts. And I'm just using, uh, here I'm just using a lighter foundation, you know, as a concealer to give me that openness of the face. Yeah. So I'm just going to powder and then I'll powder now and then I'll do the lips and, and then I'll have another assessment what I'm doing. And I tend to just, um, just powder, especially for brides, I just powder the center. Just make sure that's really well, really well powdered. I might just add a little bit more mascara because I want her eyes to be sort of more And I find, I, I'm not sure if you, I find with brides, you just keep, you start very soft and then you just keep adding. Because the face starts talking to you. All of a sudden it needs a bit more of these, it needs a bit more of that. And the face just keeps talking to you and you just keep adding or taking, but usually adding more to the face. So this is a lip pencil, it's called Nude L127 and it's, a, a, it's almost, can you see how almost, it's almost a color of her lips, isn't it? Yeah. I've got a lip, lip color. This one, which is, uh, this lip color is the natural palette lip color, and that's the lip color I'm using. Okay, and I'll just go with the clear lip gloss, this one here. So, you know, I've just got the universe, universal color. Um, and now, if she was getting married, well, if she's getting married, I'll wait till she puts a dress on, and then I'll go over and do any more touches that I may need to do. Uh, but I, I went to a soft pinks and, and mauves, uh, a little bit of glamour. A lot of the brides these days, they're not conventional at all. They like a lot of color, and they like big eyeliners. And so that's what I try to do in here, uh, working with her face. So, so she's ready to get dressed now. And uh, 
next time uh, we'll see if she needs more. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply a little a touch of the uh, bright, um, the ultra bright powder, just to the decoupage area. So it's a beautiful finish. So now I'm just applying a little bit of uh, the blush. I just love the combination of these uh, blushes, and sometimes I just go like this. And my name is Rosalina da Silva, and this is the bride, our bride for uh, this iMatch 2013.